is I'm going to go back to this part here and kind of change gears a little bit and talk about a different topic, but uh, using the same print. So what I want to look at a little bit closer is I want to look at uh, the relationship between A and B. So A and B, how are A and B related right now? Well, it looks like we have A. That's, that's where we're starting, right? That's your primary datum. And I can tell by the way you set it, and you look in every feature control frame, and so start off with A. And now what we're going to do is we're going to relate B to A, right? What's the relationship of B to A? And the relationship of B to A, it looks like we have a perpendicularity there, and it says perpendicular within 2. It's a diameter tolerance zone. And it says in relationship to A. So it has to be perpendicular within 2 in relationship to A. And that follows along with what we said. There's no relationship between these features. You have to say what the relationship is between them. Remember our rule 1 we talked about it? So here we are relating it and tell you what the relationship is. All right, so it has a perpendicular within a diameter of 2. So you said the tolerance zone was a cylindrical tolerance zone. So what you're imagining is you're imagining a cylindrical tolerance zone that looks like this. Got to have good eyes to see that too. Yeah, you kind of have to use your imagination a little bit here because two thousandths, what is that? That's like half of a cat whisker. So you kind of have to use your imagination a little bit. We do have a two thousandths tube here that the axis of the hole has to be within. So worst case, what could happen is the axis could enter on this side and exit on this side, and it could be tilted like that. So okay, yeah, that makes sense. Well, if the axis were tilted, really what you'd see is you'd see the hole is tilted. Now, I'm going to ask you, what size is that hole? Well, the size of the hole, that's just, you know, you put a pin in there, you put some calipers in there, and you get the size of the hole is 1.120 to 1.124. So, okay. yeah, so, so that's what I'd be doing, something like this. If you said what size of the hole, what I'd do is I'd come in and find out what size. I'd just hold it in my hand like this and see what size it is. That's what I would call the size of the hole, right? Well, that's not really what I want to know. What I want to know is what size is the hole when you're looking perfectly normal to that face right there. Well, then you're not going to see a perfect round hole anymore. You see what you're going to see? You're going to see like in a little ellipse if you looked in the other view. So what I want to know is what size is that right there? And that is a concept that we call the virtual size or the virtual condition. And that is the size of the hole when you're looking perfectly normal to the face. Now, how did I get 1.118? Well, it's actually pretty simple. What you do is you look at the smallest hole, which is 1.120, and that hole is allowed to tilt 2. So then what you get is you get a virtual size of 1.118. And since this is on a diameter, this is on a diameter, then this pops up on a diameter also. Now, notice also this thing has a max material condition on here. So what does that do? That gives you that bonus tolerance. So let's see. The max material condition 2 at the max material condition, that's here. So you get 2. How much perpendicularity do you get here? Well, the diameter got bigger by 4. So that would be your bonus, so you get an extra 4. 2 plus the departure from MMC would be 6. So if I take my 1.124 hole and I allow it to tilt 6, what do I have left? I have... Back 1. down to 1.118. That's like the bottom line. It's like I know this thing is tilting. The hole's getting bigger. It's tilting more. It's got bonus tolerance. All right, what's going on? What's the bottom line here? The bottom line is you have a hole that's 1.118 for your mating part. And you notice the two different numbers then. This here is what we call the size of the hole, right? That just, what was it, plus or minus uh, 2, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, 120 to 124, I measure that. And now what the virtual size is, that's what the mating part is going to see. You see how these two parts go together? They're together like this, and I got the keys lined up, and turn 90 degrees. When you look right at that face, right, zero, right at that face, what size is that hole? Well, if it was tilted any, you would see an ellipse, right? That's what the mating part is going to see. And that's what we call the virtual size. Really important number here, a really important name that we use a lot in geometric tones, you know, virtual size.